Hi, first graders. We're studying nonfiction right now. So I thought we would take a book, The Grand Canyon, and look at it and see if we can find some text features that are special for nonfiction books. So here is the cover art of our book we're going to read today, The Grand Canyon. Let's flip through a few pages. So the next page I see here, this is the table of contents. I first noticed there's a map at the top. And then after the words table of contents, it lists a lot of the different chapters or the headings that are going to be in our book. For example, it says a canyon so grand. And then if you follow the dots, it says it is on page four. So a table of contents helps us to find information fast. Nonfiction books you don't have to read from the beginning to the end. If you just want to learn one part, you can go to the table of contents. Maybe you just want to look at the chapter that says a natural wonder. Well, then you would just turn to page 15. Let's turn and look at another page. So here is a page and I notice at the top it says a canyon is so grand. You see that right here? That boys and girls is our heading or the chapter title. And then that's what we're gonna learn about, why the canyon is grand. All right, let's look at another page. On this page, we have a couple of text features. The first thing, which is really easy to see here, is a photograph. So this is a photograph of, it says Theodore Roosevelt was the first president to try to protect the Grand Canyon. If I just saw that photograph there, I would just see a bunch of men standing around. But right here, that's a caption. That's giving us more information about what the picture is. So that's a text feature we should know about. And another one I'm not sure if we mentioned yet. Do you notice? We have talked about bold words here. But it's also an important word. It's a key word. Just something to keep in mind. So if you see bold words, they're probably important. The last page of this book I want to show you is this page. Yes, we have another photograph again. But I want you to look right here. Do you see this word? Skywalk. It is labeling the picture. It's telling you what you're actually looking at. And you guys have done this in your writing before. After you write your story and you draw a picture, you might have a label explaining a little bit more about the picture. So now that when I see this picture, I know these people aren't just standing on some ledge. It's called a skywalk. All right, boys and girls. So now you're gonna do an activity and you're going to label some of the text features that we've just talked about today.